This is SUAS News, and here are the top news stories of the week. This week, DJI launched the Spark, a small $499 system that the company claims will fly for 16 minutes on its 3-cell, 1480mAh LiPo battery and has a takeoff weight of 300 grams. The Spark measures 143mm from front to back and side to side and is 55mm high. The system incorporates gesture control, which was first deployed on the larger Mavic and Phantom 4 platforms. DJI also incorporated a vision system for obstacle avoidance. The onboard camera captures 1080p video at 30 frames per second and has a maximum transmission distance of 100 meters up to a 50 meter height. The drone can be controlled via the included flight controller, via a smartphone app, as well as via the gesture control system. The United States Court of Appeals has ruled that the FAA's registration rule for model aircraft violates Section 336 of the FAA Modernization and Reform Act and is therefore unlawful to the extent that it applies to model aircraft. John Taylor, a drone enthusiast and a lawyer himself, filed a lawsuit challenging the FAA registry and won. John was assisted by aviation lawyer Jonathan Ruprecht, as well as the DC Area Drone User Group. SUA's News interviewed John a few hours after the court victory. You know, it was a, it was a pretty decisive uh, victory, at least on the registration issue. And it's always been a simple case, really, which is why I was willing to undertake it. Is the statute says don't do this, and they did that. And it's just taken a year and a half to get the court to go, yeah, the statute says don't do this, and they did that. So that's really what it boils down to. There's there's more nuance to the decision, and, and it's gonna it's gonna have to play itself out. The full interview is included in the playlist for this week's news roundup, linked in the description below, where you will also find a link with more information about the court ruling. DJI will require you to log in and register your DJI platform after the next software and firmware updates. According to a press release by the company, if you update either their smartphone app or the system's firmware and then do not register with them, Live camera streaming on your DJI platform will be disabled and you will not be able to fly more than 50 meters away or fly higher than 30 meters from the launch point. For more information, see the video and article links in the video description below. This week, the Australian Civil Aviation Safety Authority launched a new smartphone app called Can I Fly Here? Developed in conjunction with Drone Complier, the app illustrates areas where you are not allowed to fly. These areas include within 5.5 kilometers of controlled aerodromes, in approach and departure paths of non-controlled aerodromes and helicopter landing sites, as well as in restricted or military airspace. The app also highlights caution areas around unregistered aerodromes where aircraft could be flying. The airspace and other aviation data for the app is sourced from the Australian government-owned organization Air Services Australia. Air Services Australia is Australia's air navigation service provider and they handle air traffic control, air navigation services, aviation rescue and firefighting services to the country. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Drone and Sundry and also check out our weekly live show called Drone Stuff This Week where SUAS News editor Gary Mortimer chats to industry experts and insiders on drone world happenings.